Hi everybody, it's Sean. I wanted to do a 9-11 video. I don't feel like a truth channel is complete without its own 9-11 video. And I wanted it to be my own. I didn't want to share somebody else's. But I'm eventually going to make a full-length documentary on 9-11 because I think I have some new things to say. But as a placeholder until then, this is going to be me on Things and Stuff's 9-11 video. A Cliff's Notes version of the 9-11 story. I'm going to start with the government's version of what happened, and, and I'm going to tell you why it's a lie. Uh, so far, what they say happened is this guy here, Osama bin Laden, Tim Osman is his CIA code name, used his group Al-Qaeda and uh, got 19 guys together, and their plan was to fly four commercial jets into four uh, physical building targets. These are the guys right here, and about half of them are still alive, but the list never been changed, but that's neither here nor there. They had a 75% success rate against, in the world's largest air force, the most protected airspace, the American airspace. We have a very impressive military. They were able to run free for almost two hours. And uh, they completely destroyed the World Trade Center complex. Larry Silverstein, that's him there, made about $8 billion. And uh, <laughs> disgusting, I know. but. And then Building 7 there, that didn't get hit by anything, and that fell later on in the evening, about 6 or 7 o'clock. And uh, Larry did say that they decided to pull it because they had such large loss of life, but whatever. The whole complex is gone now. Everything's gone at the World Trade Center. Now, the Pentagon gets hit. The world's most protected airspace and the world's most protected building gets attacked right after the two towers in, in, in New York City went Everyone knows we're at war or we're being attacked. The president knows, everyone knows. And our Air Force is still fumbling around. The last plane goes down in Shanksville. The passengers apparently took this one down. So now we've got our event. And uh, now we got to hunt Osama bin Laden. And we hunted him for like, I don't know, 11 years until Obama finally killed him or says he killed him. There's Dick Cheney, he had a big part in this. It started here with PNAC, the project for a new American century. They decided that they needed a new Pearl Harbor, a large event with cas large casualties like Pearl Harbor that would get us on board with what they, their agenda would be in the Middle East going forward because we need to control the oil, we need to control the resources, and we need to control the drugs. We're the world's largest drug dealers. So anyways, the neocons and the Zionists came up with this plan for to move their new world agenda forward and it involved using the 9-11 attacks to be able to get all the money they want and all the military support they wanted uh, flag waving everybody's on board nobody's arguing we can go to war with anybody we want to as long as we say they're a terrorist when really it's all behind Zionism and greed you know regarding poppy fields in Afghanistan and we have been for 16 years you know we only had to bomb a few caves why have we been there so long why are we in Syria? Well, I'll tell you why. We want to control an oil pipeline. It's all about an oil pipeline, and Assad won't go along with it. We're bullies. We're the bullies of the world. And I seriously don't believe that 19 amateurs with box cutters pulled off this intricate of a plan. People say it's crazy to believe that it was a conspiracy. I think it's crazier to believe that it actually happened the way they say it happened. But that's neither here nor there. Let's remember the victims forever. But what we need to do is to reject this official lie of a story and spread the truth and raise awareness and inform and teach the masses so that this never happens again. Thank you guys so much for watching me on Things and Stuff's 9-11 Cliff Notes version video. Like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. I'd love for you to subscribe, but comment. Let's talk about it. Tell me what you think. See you next time, guys.